I'm going to show you how to create a, um, a Google Doc, okay? So first thing you have to do is be loaded into your um, Google account and you're gonna go to your Google Drive. You go up here and you're going to say new Google form very easily. Blank form or from a template. I don't think I have a template set up. We're just going to go with blank form. It's going to come up with your, um, because we've chosen purple as our background, that's what comes up. I don't know what comes up normally, but anyway, you can change these types of things. If you want to get fancy, change in the background. If you want to um, add a picture up here, you can add a picture in the top. You can either do the ones that they have set up for you or... Um, or you can upload your own photos. So let's see here. We are gonna see what we can find with books. Here we go, that's one that we use often um, because this is the form to pre-order my book. Or pre-order, you can be, you can put your the title of the name. Okay. Now, um, please fill out this form so I can send you your book when it is available on March 20th, okay? Now, down here is where the fun begins. This is where you start doing your questions. You can title the question, which is going to be name first, obviously. Sometimes it's smart enough to go ahead and change it for you. If it doesn't know what you're trying to do, you can choose from all of these different things. And then we're gonna, you can duplicate it so you don't have to create recreate the wheel, or you can go over here and you can press new. So um, over here we're gonna put street address. We're gonna duplicate this again. We're gonna say city date and the reason I create one for each of these instead of um, instead of doing them all in one thing is because you can export all of these answers you can either view the responses in a tab where it creates it all right here or you can click on this little tab and it will create a spreadsheet for you and when you do it that way you can use the spreadsheet to export to uh, export to other things that let you know your um, mail merge and all that kind of stuff it also just makes it easier to keep track of the different element if it's in its own column on there so um i keep them together if but and that's entirely up to you if you'd rather put put your street city and state states and city in one thing that's fine too we're going to also ask them for their email address and we're going to put here this is um, what oops what did it just say what just happened there okay so I, I think I said whatever um, <laughs> yes to whatever it was asking if we wanted it to make it automatically so now it's added it so that it's automatically collecting the email address so they don't have a choice but to put in the email address okay then we get down here um, and we're getting at the bottom of our recording screen and then you just want to write you know um, who should I um, autograph the book to and then leave um, make sure that this is also at short answer or paragraph you might want to leave this on paragraph actually in case they have a, a story that they want to tell um, and you know down here we're gonna put if you've ordered multiple books please list out all names okay so at that point in time you're done it automatically saves what you've done you can go up here to send and you can get the link and then you can shorten it if you want to and then you're going to copy that link and um, that's what you will put in the if you are, when you're setting up your PayPal buy button that's the link that you're gonna set up in the buy button where it says 
um, HTML where URL to send them to after they've completed their purchase, you're going to use that one. Okay, and that's it. And then when you want to check it, you go back into let's it will automatically fill in. You go back into the form through your Google Drive. You can check the responses and you can have it create a spreadsheet and um, you can see the orders in there and start doing your email and address stuff. So easy breezy.